It's wheel time. It's time to spin the spinny spinner of spinniness. Here we go. Fun, we got some Pikmin. Oh, damn. Reaching up just donated two gift subs as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate your gifties. Okay, question, question. So I have it for spin the wheel for every 75 subs, but we're at 450 subs. Should I keep it at every 75 or should it be every 50 subs now? So it could be increments of 50, so the next would be 500, 550. I feel like that would be a lot like easier to keep track of. Yeah, let's, let's do 50. We were at an increment of 75. When I set that rule, it was at 375, but now that we're up to 450, let's, let's round it out. That seems a bit more obtainable for most people. 75 is a lot. All right, Majora's Mask, you're done. You're done, son. It's time for some Pikmin. Pikmin doesn't have, it does not have a tracker. It's the only emulator or the only randomizer I have that doesn't use a tracker. All right, Pikmin Randomizer. If you've never seen Pikmin Randomizer before, it's pretty fun. It's, it's kind of weird, but it's a fun weird. It like kind of mixes the game up a little bit. What's randomized is all of the enemies, bosses, and like every single movable entity, like pellets, pellet posies, nectar, all the enemies are randomized. So like every level has just like a completely different palette of enemies and bosses to fight. And since it's random, you don't really know what combinations you're gonna have to deal with. And also the ship pieces are randomized, so they're not gonna be in the same place. So like the amount of Pikmin they would have to take to different areas is gonna be different. And I believe that's kind of it. There's not a whole lot of different random stuff in Pikmin Randomizer, but there's enough to make it like a fun and interesting experience. Bum, 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 bum. Just checking in while that work and my face lit up the moment I saw Olimar. Hell yeah, we don't get to see Olimar on Twitch that often, right? I think Prince Apu gave you a one second timeout as a bad PSI <laughs> for messing up the emulator. It's okay, PSI's, PSI's in the clear. They didn't do anything. Nothing long-term happens. It was just a joke. They were poking fun. That's like something that we do in the two clan. Whenever someone like does something that's like slightly disruptive, we'll give a one second timeout just to be like, eight. <laughs> it's my little pick pick. Damn, we passed 37 hours. Stevo and Nimpalk, that's because of you. You guys are the main perpetrators of that. Of course, it's because of a lot of other people as well, but mostly because of Nimpalk and Stevo. <laughs> they're really pushing this, they're pushing this car all the way to the gas station. A living creature, a living creature named the Pikmin. It just stands there staring at me. And shape is similar to the pick pick brain carrot I love so much. Here, I am stranded on a toxic planet. What the taste of your lips, don't you know? Oh, that can eat my Pikmin. That's dangerous. That could actually cause me to have to reset the randomizer. And nectar? Okay, that's weird. Is it safe over here? Any bugs trying to kill me? No, we're good. I'm gonna go fight that bug myself. Cause it can't eat me. It can hurt me, but it can't eat me. Like it can my, like, like it can my limited amount of Pikmin. But typically on the very first level of the game, there's no enemies that can kill any of your Pikmin. Oh wait, what? How did that pellet posy turn into a five posy? Astonishing, the onion has sown more seeds. Is there enough Pikmin for me to g 
get that five pellet posy. Oh, also check this out. Pikmin Randomizer has the Pluckaphone from Pikmin 2. It's actually in the base code for Pikmin 1 as well, but they just for some reason didn't make it like a usable thing that you could use. So they just like re-added it to the code for the randomizer so you can use it. Fun fact, I tried to make a Pikmin Let's Play when I first watched your first Pikmin Let's Play. Aw, how'd it go? With a shitty iPad camera. Okay, so it probably didn't go that great. But hey, that's how that's how it starts, you know? My first Let's Play I've ever recorded was never even uploaded to YouTube. I made, cause I was recording it with a digital camera. But I was learning. It was all part of the learning process. You finished one episode, got self-conscious, and deleted it. I don't even know if I have, like, the thing that's needed in your brain to be a self-conscious person. I take that back. I actually do get self-conscious. But I get, I get self-conscious in different ways. I get self-conscious in, like, social scenarios. Not ever for, like, who I am, if that makes sense. Tenryu Tashima! Thank you for the tier one sub! I appreciate that support. I wish Nintendo would make a game like the first Pikmin again. With a lonely-like atmosphere. Dude, I feel like Pikmin would be the coolest game ever to have an open world element to it. An open world Pikmin game would just work so damn well in my opinion. A big open vast landscape and you can like land your ship in different areas on the map each night I feel like that's how the game was meant to be played almost if anything I feel like out of all the Nintendo IPs I think Pikmin would work for an open world layout better than any of them I know Pikmin 3 had aspects of the first game, but I don't know. All the playable characters and shit didn't make it feel so lonely. Yeah, you don't really ever feel lonely when playing Pikmin, do you? Or Pikmin 3, because you have all three captains. You know, that's kind of what makes Pikmin special, though, right? Is, like, each of the games kind of adds on to the atmosphere in a slightly different way. The first game, like, really sets a lonely, like, isolating world... The second game, like, really builds up by introducing you to a lot more enemies and bosses and items and treasures and Pikmin types and really just, like, makes the world robust and just, like, full. And then Pikmin 3 kind of just polishes everything and just, like, gets all the mechanics near perfect, I would say. I think the engine remains unrandomized whenever you play because you need the engine to, like take off each day at the very beginning. There's the pig. Like, where'd these guys go? Where'd they go? Pikmin 3 also has like the best mission mode. It has a really good bingo battle, like a good multiplayer mode. Pikmin 3 figured out a lot of great stuff and it's also beautiful. Like the HD graphics on Pikmin 3, phenomenal. I still think Pikmin has, like, the most potential out of any game series Nintendo has to make, like... Like, I honestly hope that someday Nintendo will make a PC Pikmin game. I know they'll probably never make a game for anything outside of their hardware, but I would love a Pikmin game where you use a keyboard and mouse. So you can have that, like, full real-time strategy, like, elements. I'm sure Pikmin 4 is going to be gorgeous. Maybe they're saving Pikmin 4 to be, like... A game that shows off the graphical capabilities of whatever the next console is. You're hoping what gets delayed another year? Pikmin 4? This is Pikmin Uno. The very first one. Everything. I mean, I would not be opposed to everything being delayed a year. I am... I'm like a solid 50 years behind on culture. There's a lot of movies and TV shows and games I need to play. So yeah, if everything new wants to stop coming out for a little bit, that'd be kind of nice. Oh, look, I'm not sure if you noticed, but all the plants are randomized too. Like there shouldn't be mushrooms in this level. There shouldn't be this tall grass. 
I don't think these plants should be here. These like tall leaves right here. You smell day two? What does it smell like? I showered this morning, it shouldn't smell bad. <laughs> Why are you trying to change the game to Zooter, Casey? You're not a mod. You can't do that. It does smell like Fruit Loops. Mmm. Yum. Mm -hmm. I feel like a kid right now, eating Fruit Loops, playing Pikmin. I have not ever played a Persona game, unfortunately. Mm. First day, success. What percent completed is that? One divided by 30. Is that like what, 4% I think? Guys, four is the pose. It's your level. Hey, we have Pikmin 933 in chat. The Pikmin segment has officially begun. Don't worry, Pikmin. You just missed the very first tutorial day, so nothing interesting. This is weird. How are you swimming on land? Ah, oh, yeah, this music does scratch my brain very nicely. It scratches that itchy itch that feels itchy let's carry that back let's get tadpole steve-o mr pot pie himself thank you <laughs> you don't you don't sleep he just be cool i kind of feel bad for taking the tadpole back Hey, this, this bull board wasn't randomized, fortunately. Some of these enemies are the same. We have some regular bull borbs, some dwarf bull borbs, but then we have a spotty bull bear. We have some of the, the tadpoles, the wally, wally wog poles, or whatever they're called. Is there pot in the pie? That's true. Is it, what kind of pot? You're a Stevo pot pie. Does that mean you're just like, you mash up Stevo? and you put them into a pot pie. It's a pot pie that tastes like degeneracy and blood. <laughs> That's what I would assume Stevo tastes like, degeneracy and blood. And probably cigarettes. Look at all these little tiny buggy bugs. Oh no, did one of them die? Oh no, our first Pikmin death. Devastation. We can't let it happen again. We can't. It's too sad. These tapples are always so hard to kill. There we go. They'll get them. They'll get them. I trust the Pikmin. They got determination. Oh, yeah. Oh look, he even dropped some pellet posies. He gave us a, a death tax. So kind of him to pay the death tax. Is there an official like name for a tax collector or another word for tax collector? 
There's taste in the pot pie. Hmm. A tad salty, a tad bitter, but delicious. Thank you for that... That taste rundown. Thank God for the pluck of foam. This, like, saves so much time. Satan, thief, wanker. You guys understood the assignment. All right, whole career popping off. We're about to kill this sleepy man. <laughs> Can we make this a meme real fast? Can this be? <laughs> the bulborb is me sleeping at night. And then the red Pikmin are the audience during my subathon. <laughs> this, is, this is you guys watching me when I sleep during the subathon. <laughs> I hope somebody screenshots and turns into a meme format. Do I move a lot when I sleep? I actually, like, am unsure. Do I snore or talk in my sleep? Uh, I, I muted my microphone, so you wouldn't know. It's interesting to guess when you would wake when I would wake up. Did I wake up earlier than you expected? I only slept for like six hours, I think, so I didn't like oversleep for sure. I feel like I slept a good amount. I'm pretty sure it randomizes the ship parts, but so far, it seems like maybe not? We got it, let's go. Oh damn, that's a lot. Let's get some nectar. Yeah, the sleeping part is like the weird thing about the subathon. It like honestly doesn't even seem necessary. Like it honestly seems like it would be fine if I just ended the stream when I go to bed and like start again in the morning. But at the same time, like the sleeping thing, I think also just adds like a level of accountability to the subathon that like kind of makes it more interesting. Like you pretty much know what I'm doing at all times. Wait, so that guy who made the Rube Goldberg machines, was it just a meme that he like gave himself different names like every video? He was perfect. <laughs> this fire's not gonna do anything to me cause I am fireproof. Try to get up but I couldn't stay quiet. Oh, Wally Wog. Don't, I don't mess with you. A little stupid ass frog, I ain't messing with you. I got a million trillion things I'd rather freaking do. Space, good morning. How are you? I love you. You're actually... Don't tell anybody, Space, but you might be... You might be in my top five favorite mods. Don't tell anyone, though. I have a list of my favorite mods is the same exact imagine like the myspace era of your your best friend lists i have that for my mods as well 
I'm just kidding. I don't actually have a list. I love all my mods equally. Like a child loves, like a parent loves all their children equally. I can't pick favorites. That would be, that'd be unjust. Quad someone not approve of me picking favorites. Oh no, I threw my yellow Pikmin on him. I hope it survives. I'm already losing way too many Pikmin right now. No, yellow, 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 yellow. Whew. That was way too close. Okay, a few a few guys died, but it's okay. Make it work. The fact that there's a fire geyser right next to my yellow onion is putting me on edge. How many mods are there? Do we have 30 mods? I say we have like probably 15 actual mods. Some people are like, I guess, I guess, like some people are modded, but like they're not actual mods. They're just like, they have the mod role. Like Squill. He's not necessarily a mod, but he has a, he has a mod role. Wait, why are you not going to the yellow onion? Why are you being so stupid? Stupids. Just gotta build up these yellow numbers. That's what's most important at the moment. I told that Mario Figs is the real power behind the two clan. If you want to promote or demote someone, you consult her first. Mario Figs has a lot of power in the two clan. Possibly the most. Is that safe to say, Emily? Maddie is a pretty, pretty powerful person in the two clan. And she rules mostly with fear, which is typically not okay, but for Maddie's sake. I mean. There's way there's really no way for us to not be afraid. Maddie's just really intimidating. She won't hesitate to shank a bitch. And that's on God. The fractions are messed up in Pikmin 1 and it's a travesty. Yo, Steve, are you good? I noticed that you gave bits that time and not rupees. And I just want to make sure everything's good. Like, you were on rupee gang. It was great and everything. And then you became a Bezos bitch again. Like, out of nowhere. And I'm just, like, really concerned, you know? Like, you can always go back, I guess. But I, don't know, I, thought, I thought you were making some pretty good progress, you know? Casey's not afraid of Maddie. <laughs> Man, ignorance truly is bliss. The sweet bliss of naivety. There you go. You're no longer a Bezos bitch. You've redeemed yourself, Stevo. Thank God too. I think it, it all de it's all determined by your most recent donation of whether you're a Bezos bitch or not. The recent one was rupees and you're not. Okay, I need my, I need just the bombs. This place about to blow. Oh, 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 oh. Steve-O is coming for an impulk. About to overpass. Nimpok will stand for this, probably. <laughs> he will stand for this. Okay, bombs to the face. Bombs to the face. Oh. Did she blow up? That was sad. Okay, Reds, you know what to do. Time to take out the big fella. Oh, watch out. 
Bull bears are scary. Bull bears are scary. They are relentless and they do not stop. Can't take them out. Take them out, kids. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. I mean, we'll get a lot of Pikmin back from him. I feel like we've lost a bit too much today. A bit, too, a bit more than I'm comfortable with losing, anyways. It's okay. We'll get our numbers back up. We'll get the troops. Let's have them break that down, and we'll use the rest of the Pikmin to carry the corpse back. Wait, was that all the red Pikmin? I guess it was. Just kidding. We're going to get all the corpses. Get your numbers up, son. I'm always lifting the weight. I finish up at any rate. I slice it up, decapitate. I gonna go assassinate. I brush off any to hate. I always follow my fate. I'm doing good, doing great. I'm doing good, doing great. Just getting my bearings straight. I always stick to my creed. It helping me lift all the weight. Wait, wait, pull up, pull up, pull up. Hey, come again. Little talk, little talk. True. What you gonna do? We always stay plotting. I thought that you knew. How do I make just the money donation? Yeah, I will say the better thing about money donations is Amazon doesn't take a cut. Cause like say if you donate bits, what is it to buy like $15 worth of bits costs like 20 bucks. So Amazon takes like five extra bucks. But if you donate through Streamlabs, you can extend the timer without giving Amazon any cut whatsoever. Only downside about the Streamlabs donations as it doesn't show up on the, the Twitch leaderboards. Hey, Saru Kana is at number one for first place of gifted subs for the subathon. Thank you so much, Saru. Stevo is at number two. And Daytone is at number three. And then Pauk at number four. Luigi Knight at number five. All five of them have donated over 20 subs so far. Which is very, 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 very kind. I am so thankful and eternally grateful. Mr. Fizo, I see you out here. How you doing today? Thank you so much for that prime sub. Hope you're having a good day. Kip, I think you did get a gift sub. Yes. Okay, we have two ship parts. Progress. Let's pluck them all. Good morning. Good morning, cadets. Doing great from France. Hey, French viewers. Oh, I love your fries. Thank you guys for giving us those. You really pulled through. <clears throat> Let's start off by getting this, this big 20 pellet for the yellows. Does it not tell you who your gift sub is from, like whenever you get one? I feel like it should tell you that info. How did these guys come back to life so fast? I just murdered you last night. Your respawn rate is insane. I'll save these for the yellows. The yellows need it more than I do. We're just gonna be bombing up and blowing up more walls today, I believe. I am a bitch, but I'm your bitch. Whoa! So much cheese! Okay, we got a bunch of yellers. To go grab some more bomb rocks and blow up the rest of these walls. Oh, 
did he do what I just think he did? He did. He surpassed Nimpalk in the lever leaderboards. Thank you so much, Stevo, for being the number one bit contributor for the subathon so far. Is your name Steve or Stevo? Or something similar? Very sick, very nice. Now you're just widening the gap, huh? <laughs> Protecting the territory. Steven. Oh my god, that's like my favorite. That's like one of my favorite Kesha songs. From her first album that goes, Steven, Steven, why won't you call me? Steven, why won't you call me? I saw you in your tight ass rocker pants, you saw me too. I laughed because I was completely trashed. I saw your ugly girlfriend sneer across the room as if she real. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna keep on singing Kesha. Free Kesha, I'm pretty sure she is free. <laughs> I think she's good now. I think that, that whole debacle ended a while ago, thankfully. Oh gosh, oh gosh. That's dangerous. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. But yeah, kill them, kill them all. That's right. That sheer grub really got me though. I'm not gonna lie. They really had us. Oh my god, these these dudes are pissing me off. No, run, run, run! Oh gosh. Okay, that was a lot of unnecessary death just now. That many yellow Pikmin did not need to die. <laughs> but they did. And what's done is done. I'm not a very careful Pikmin player because there's really no reason to be careful when playing this game. Should I see two screens of you right now? No. I don't understand how you would see two screens of me right now. Very interesting. Enemies are over here. Oh, these guys aren't bad at all. But I probably will have to kill him still. Or else he'll flatten all the Pikmin that come by. But he's honestly not that big of a problem when you have the Pluckaphone. Because you can just like, pluck them all. Pretty much instantly. Bobby! Bobby! Yo, Insomnia Draws, thank you so much for the, for the sub. I think, I think I'm gonna miss a couple alerts. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys. The fact that this subathon is getting like this crazy of support is just like, holy crap. Oh damn, he heals. Okay, I guess bomb rocks aren't the path to righteousness here. Smoke Jay, thank you for gifting that to Rolling Gizmo. Rolling Gizmo's an awesome person, so they definitely deserve it. And Anonymous Gifter, ooh, Secret, gifted a sub to Aqua Marine Dancer. That's a pretty cool username. I'm not sure what an Aqua Marine Dancer is, but it sounds cool. Oh no. He's not supposed to be there. Oh, he's mad too. He's big mad. Let's, let's back up before he ruins our life. Steve-o! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> the Mad Lad. That is so many subs. What is our sub count now? 
476 people. Jeez. It's crazy seeing my sub count this high. I'm not used to it. You're a fun content creator with a nice community. I'd hope you'd be given some support. Well, I guess when you put it that cutely, I guess, yeah. The two clan is a pretty nice community, huh? I've never seen the two clan be mean to anybody before. I'm also like not really capable of being mean to people. I don't really know how. Do I know who gifted you a sub? Not for certain. Actually, I can probably find out. Let me see. No, for some reason it's not showing. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know why it's not showing. Where are we at with this? Let's go ahead and grab all these things real fast. Cleanup crew. Cleanup crew coming through. I'm gonna grab some more mins. Some more min mins. Everyone's favorite Smash Bros. player. Pikmin mins. I want you to tell Cersei it was me. I am the one who knocks. I still haven't figured out Yo, Z Monkey, thank you. I still haven't figured out how to even properly use Min Min in Smash. I feel nothing but great confusion when I try to use her in her double armed moveset. She's freaking out. She's freaking out. She doesn't know how to. Oh, she smashed. She mad. She do the thing. And then I use pluck a phone. <laughs> and don't give a single crap. I really feel bad when I kill these guys though, because they're kind of cute in their own weird, weird ass way. How much to carry this? It's probably 35, isn't it? The Nova Blaster. We gotta blast some foes. I'm a foe blaster. Oh, guys, guys, don't be grabbing that right now. I'm gonna put Tyler at over 40 hours. <laughs> Dude, good, please. Make him our streaming slave for eternity. I'm the streaming slave and you're all the streaming senpais. The stream senpais. You're not actually streaming. You're just at said stream. Oh, and he did it. He put the timer over 40 hours. <laughs> it's there. That's the number on screen. That's an actual thing right now. And I am flabbergasted. I'm vomiting and shitting at the same time. I am so taken aback by this generosity. Forty more hours. That's literally I'm gonna be streaming all of today, all of tomorrow, and all of Tuesday, like for sure. Like already. Huh. <sighs> Nova Blaster. Okay, let's, let's try to get as let's get these two shit pieces as well. Mr. Fizo, Mr. Fizo with the five gift subs, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Light Ace, Chief Meerkat, Ender Steve, Ender Steve. Is that like a haunted Pikmin reference? I once had like a graphical glitch when playing Pikmin that caused like a Pikmin to look like an Enderman, and it was really scary. I gotta get this screw, or else we're totally screwed. Deborah Kong, thank you as well for the gift sub. I don't deserve your guys' kindness. I really don't. <laughs> but you know, I'm going to, 
I'm gonna make it worth it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a lot of freaking fun, interactive, innovative streams this year, this summer. I'm definitely not gonna take this this momentum that you guys are giving me for the stream in vain. I will definitely have it continue forward in the most positive way possible. So many grassiasses. So many grassy asses. All the grassy asses. Yo, thank you, Smoke, for gifting a sub to Thunder. Thunder. Hear the thunder. I don't know why it didn't randomize the parts. It randomized the parts of my Let's Play, didn't it? Come on, come on. You got it. You got it. You're right here. Whew. Am I using the old code? Maybe. I thought I updated it, but. All right, we have five out of 30 parts. Very sick. Five out of 30, that's one sixth. What is the percentage of one sixth? It's like 15, like 16.7%, I think. I think we're at 16.7% done with Pikmin. It's fine, I I'm fine with this rando version that I'm playing right now. I'll give a different version. James, holy crap, what's up, Benji? Brandon Sedge got one, and Flood, nice. And Steve. Thanks, Benji. Hope you're having a good one. Thanks for keeping it real. I'll give Tyler $500 if chat gets over 500. Over 500. What are you talking about? Are you talking about subs, I'm guessing? That would be insane. <laughs> that would be absolutely crazy. How much time would 500 subs add to the counter? 500 minutes. How many hours is 500 minutes? So curious. Forest Naval Baton. 500 pick minutes. All right, have a good day, Apu. Hope you have a good one. Hope your day is fire. Hope you dominate your day. A $500 donation would add eight hours and 20 minutes. Oh my Lord. That's a whole day in one donation. Actually, let's go for the blue pick, the blue onion first. You know, it's nice to play a Pikmin randomizer in between the Zelda randomizers, because there's not really much brain power used for Pikmin randomizers, since it's not like a puzzle. It's just kind of like different enemies. Oh my god. Not the best enemy for right here. Come over here, I don't want to accidentally pluck it and then you eat my only blue Pikmin. <laughs> that would be bad. You gifted a sub to a VTuber, nice. Do you watch Celine VTuber? Or did it just choose somebody randomly? Guys, I want a VTuber. Wouldn't that be so cool? A little tall VTuber? I should totally do it. I wouldn't be like a full-time VTuber who only does VTubing, but it'd be cool to have as an option. Let's get this little roly-poly in here. A little roly-poly. What is $500? $500 is 
would raise this, would make the stream eight hours longer. That's what they're saying. I have three. Who would put a fire geyser right in front of the blue onion area? That's just morally wrong. Why would you do that? God, these guys are so... Oh my god, they jumped down. Actually making it easier for me. Aha. That's right. I got you backed up and into an invisible corner. Zane! Thank you so much! <laughs> Get gifted, loser. <laughs> you can call me loser all you want if you gift me subs. I will take pity subs as well. <laughs> Hey, Emily, don't call me a rhombus. Only I can call people rhombuses. That's my intellectual property. I own rhombuses. <laughs> I copyrighted the shape. This is insane. I can't believe you guys are almost at 500 subs. Like, what the fuck? We're just on day two. We just started day two, guys. We just started day two. <laughs> No complaints, only thanks. Blessings on blessings on blessings, hey. Blessings on blessings on blessings. And there she blows, there she blows. Get in there you water dumpling. A little floppy water dumpling. For some reason, I decided to make a cup of coffee at 10 p.m. Hell yeah, brother! Let's celebrate all night long. You gotta keep the Europeans awake all night. All night. You're a carrot? I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. <laughs> yeah, good thing you don't have work tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that was like the worst like nights where you have like a big day tomorrow and you know you need good sleep or else you're gonna be in a bad mood and you just literally can't sleep because your body's like, uh, I don't feel like it. <laughs> like, what do you mean you don't feel like it? You're tired like every other goddamn second of your life. How come not when you're in bed? Saved it, saved it. Oh. They opened up the geyser. Shortcuts. Um, any other quick and easy money? You know, I've never had melatonin before in my life. Never once tried it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, no. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? This was not a good idea. That was a very dumb idea. Oh no. no land on him, land on him, fuck! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just lost some of those Pikmin. Don't carry that. Okay, at least we're gonna get Pikmin back, but that was still just like uncalled for. I'm gonna break down this wall. I'm gonna hit that lick today. I'm gonna flick that lick today. I'm gonna tip back that douce. I'm gonna kick back Bobby Boucher. Man, you're lucky if you know my stay. Come up to the steakhouse, rare fillet. Working to make that first melee. Working to make that first melee. Hey, nah, don't have it all figured out, but I move without. Guys, I've written so many songs recently, and I have like so many of my own songs stuck in my head. That's also a good thing, because that means the songs are catchy, which that was the goal. But maybe I made them too catchy because I can't get my own music out of my head, and that's just vain. Okay, 
let's go get the rest of those buggy boys. Trying to get the blue numbers up, but I accidentally made them go down for a moment. By Isa. I am confusion. Someone says you don't want to catch chlamydia. I'm watching out for chlamydia now? Can I catch chlamydia by playing Pikmin? Damn, STDs are getting wild. I thought I, I thought gamers were self safe from STDs, but apparently not anymore. Toku! What's up, bro? <laughs> you had to do it. Thank you, Toku. I appreciate all your support, all your modding abilities, and just everything you bring to the two clan. Come on, guys. You almost got it. You almost got it. Sex is great and all, but have you ever played Pikmin? No. I've never played Pikmin before, as you can tell. <gasps> Kitten Claw, thank you for gifting us up to Donkey Kong's Milk. Donkey Kong's Milk. What a freaking username. Maybe my new favorite username. Still to be determined at this point. But we are at 500 subs. Holy crap. Are we for real at 500 subs? <laughs> I've never reached 500 subscribers before, guys. I'm so happy. That's so crazy. What? I do have to change games now. That's crazy. Let me, let's let, wait for these blue Pikmin to come back so I can save their lives and then I'll end the day early. I'll scrap now. I'm not gonna bring that back. I'm gonna save all my boys' lives so I can save and exit the game. I'm gonna hit that like today. But yo, thank you, thank you guys so much for making this subathon so freaking crazy yet again. I feel like I can't say thank you enough, but I don't wanna say it too much either, because that can also get annoying. Alright, perfect. Go to sunset. We have to randomize the game again. You're alright, Padawan Becca. Thank you so much for your timer extendo. Timer extender, man. Okay, so now I gotta upgrade this so that can be accurate. And once this day ends and we save, I will spin the wheel again. Can you milk a monkey? I feel like we have milked every animal. You know, it's weird. Who was the first person to milk a cow? Who was the first person that's like, yeah? I'm gonna squeeze that cow's titties. And then they drank the stuff that came out. Somebody had to be the first, but it was you, Drossid? I knew it. You would be the first person to squeeze a cow titty. I can just tell. 